this is my Bella Goff look. Um, it's really easy, it didn't take long at all. Nothing's perfect about it, it's all a bit, you know. But I was just going back to games that I used to love playing. Sims has been one of my all time favourite games. If you play The Sims, you know Bella Goff, and the best thing about her is the mysteries that surround her, including being abducted by aliens, which is always a fun thing to happen. So this is just my quick costume of her, um, the makeup's so simple, I was basing it on the Sims 1 version of her, so she looks different in every single one doesn't she? Right, so I've got to start off by putting my new olive sexy skin tone on, which is completely different to my really pasty pale skin tone. So I'm going to really cover up my under eyes with the yellow first to counteract my darkness and put on my Paulie Paulie's green corrective concealer and then go in with um, some of my darker foundations which normally I would only ever use in the summer and to contour but just to get that olive skin tone this is what I'm going to have to use and whilst I'm doing that I'm just going to pop on my little plum bob I managed to do it, I can't see it's a bit big isn't it? Right, so I will get on with doing my face. So that is the foundation everywhere. Now I just need to set it with a translucent powder and just a really light powder all over. And that gets rid of the majority of the shine. Then I'm going to go in with a bronzer and start contouring. And I'm just going to use my Saint Tropez bronzer. I'm looking at the pictures of her as well. Her nose, sort of the width of her nose, is right from where the nostrils are. Rather than coming in and then up, it is as if it's going straight up from the nostrils. So I will contour as such. So I'm going to use a small fluffy brush for this. And then with her eyes, it looks like she's got very pale black eyeshadow on, but then she's got quite a high crease, so I just create a crease up here with this, just to guide me. And then it's her, she's got quite strong cheekbones coming down, and they always come right into a triangle, not a triangle, to the square chin. And then her jaw seems to be slightly up and rather square, so I'm just going to shade, yeah, there, and slightly down there. I mean, I'm just drawing the lines now, but once they all get buffed out, it will make a little bit more sense. So now I'm just buffing it out with a bigger fluffy brush. So that's definitely created her more jawliney jaw. I might just add a touch more here because her face is rather long and slim. So just to try and slim my face down a little bit more. That's better. And you can't really see the bottom bit of her nose so I'm just going to shade that as well. So my nose doesn't look so pig-like. And then also she's got definition on her neck. I like where you can see the natural definition but I'm just going to emphasise it a little bit more with the bronzer. And then her breasticles seem to be contoured quite high up so I've got to figure out. I'll do it about here because that's where they seem to be and then we've got room for the dress still. That'll do because it is very slight, it's not like cartoon boobies, just pixel boobies. Ha! <laughs> right, that will do for that. I'm just going to go on to the eye makeup. I'm going to have to do a Photoshop picture where my eyes are brown because obviously I haven't got brown eyes. But first of all, she's got like only very slight black eyeshadow all over the lid. So I'm just going to get my fluffy brush again and I'm going to find a really pale 
black but then you don't want much on the brush and just I'm going to sweep that all over my lid and up into the crease I would say that is probably it it really isn't much but then she's got eyeliner on top and bottom but there seems to be slightly more on the bottom and it doesn't look like there's eyelashes involved in this um, so I will line my eyes first and then I'll put a tiny bit of mascara on otherwise I will look like a doofus so I will line my eyes On each corner and inside bit I did slightly make it thicker because on the pictures it does look like there's a bit more emphasis on the eyes, they sort of go straight down up, sort of. It's so hard. And then for the top I'm going to get a liquid because I can't really use one like that on my top lashes. That might be it because it really isn't thick on the top, it is very very thin. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of mascara on. Actually, before I put a tiny bit of mascara on, I am just going to emphasise the crease a little bit more with a dark brown. Then it's the eyebrows. I'm just going to use a eyeliner pencil for this. Sort of go sh straight and then have that really nice curve that sort of goes straight down. So I will have to change my shape a little. Now to just do the other one. Right, then it's the lips and she has got red lips. And they're quite a lot bigger than mine because my lips are pathetic. But it's quite a dark red, it's not red red. So I'm just gonna outline my new lips in just a pillar box red and then I'll use like a red, darker red lipstick to fill it in. And a cupid bow is quite strong. And then I will get a darker red lipstick to pop on top. Then with my black eyeliner, I am just going to really darken it in the middle bit and at the edges. That will do for the lips. So finally, now that's the face done, just got to do the red dress and that is just gonna use red face paint and then make a darker strip at the top and that's it so I will get on with that right that will do it really doesn't have to be anything special does it this thing is the wig so I have got a long black wig so what I'm gonna have to do is shorten it up into a bob um, so I'll pop that on and then we can sort it out. My plum bob is just a bit of crappy cardboard that I stuck on here with a good old glittery pipe cleaner. Can't go wrong, you need these things in your house. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video. Tag tag!